Well, parents in the Lancaster County School District, they're trying to be able to get area schools a much needed upgrade. Now, there's already some talks right now of building more schools to support growth in the area. But some right now are arguing those plans don't include some of the older schools. South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speaks spoke with an organizer of a petition to help every student in the district. We keep hearing a tsunami is coming, a tsunami is coming. Well, I'm afraid if we don't act fast enough, that tsunami is going to be here. Lancaster County is growing and some neighbors fear school districts can't keep up. From 2010 to 2020, 20,000 people moved to the area. By July 2021, the U.S. Census Bureau estimates the county surpassed the 100,000 resident mark. Now, all of a sudden, people are going to start moving away because no, no progress will ever get done if we can't start jumping ahead of it. The majority of the growth is in Indian land. The school district says almost four schools in the city are nearly at capacity. Alongside talks of shifting attendance lines to accommodate the students, the district is also discussing building new schools. But Davis says there's other work that needs to be done as well. Some of those schools are still built from the 1950s with very minimal updates. And I know that is really hard for any child to grow and thrive in. And if we're going to get a bond referendum passed, let's do it for the whole county. She already secured over 250 signatures on a change.org petition to make that happen. Transportation Director Brian Bond says the district only has what's called 8% money. Our 8% money is really dedicated to taking care of schools throughout the county capital needs like, you know, HVAC systems and paving projects, carpeting and things like that. So really the only money available to us would be, uh, would be you know, go through a bond referendum. Reporting in Lancaster, Shakira Speaks, Queen City News. Well, the district says this is the most effective way to be able to get money to upgrade schools. So if you want your voice heard, there is another meeting on Tuesday, December the 13th at 7 p.m. You can find more details on our website at QCNews.com.